Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to give you a little glimpse of my table there on Christmas Day. All of my goodies in the corner and there were other things for me to eat as well. And then we got home and of course cookies and coffee for Santa because my son said he gets enough milk. Let's leave him some coffee because he needs, you know, something different. So that's what we did. We made him a very mild coffee, not too strong. So we spent Christmas morning opening up gifts and then we had a late breakfast and yes, Jupiter and King also got some gifts. So I'm just walking over to the convenience store to get some maple syrup for the kids and I just had some avocado toast as a treat on some whole wheat bread and then a McDonald's coffee, delish. And so the kids ended up getting me this cute little purse. I love it, it is a really good size and it fits a lot of stuff, looks are very deceiving. And then they got me some more makeup brushes, which is really cute because, you know, mom's not the best at keeping her makeup brushes very clean. So they like to get me some new ones here and there. And then some more lip gloss because you can never have enough lip gloss. I keep lip glosses at work in my locker and in all my purses. And then they also got me this really cute mug, which is super cute. Hogwarts, we're Harry Potter fans in this house. So I love my new mug. I will be using it all the time. So I also got this travel case that protects your camera gear and whatever else you wanted to put in it, but I'll be using it for my camera when I travel to Portugal because I'm there for a long time and I want to make sure that it is all safe. So you kind of just put it in there and it imprints and then you take out the little pieces you don't need and that way your camera or whatever it is that you're putting in there fits perfectly. Probably, probably the best gift that we got was this right here. Thank you, thank you, amazing sister-in-law and brother-in-law. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland. So then we had to drive quite a distance for Christmas dinner. Uh, the roads were okay. I think the night before it was really, really bad. There was cars stuck everywhere and they even closed off many roads, but luckily on Christmas day, everything was okay and most of it was nice and clear. Just took us a little while to get there. So my sister-in-law and brother-in-law also sent us some yummy goodies. Um, so we had these like date nut clusters that were so yummy with like pecans and there was um, different nuts in there, but there were tree nuts, not peanuts. So yay, I can eat them. There was cashews in there. It was really, really delicious. And then there's like a date sauce on it and some chocolate, super, super yummy. And almonds are in there as well. And then some pistachio cranberry bark, which was my fave. And I've been craving cranberries lately. So that was a really, really good combination. And then we have the candy cane bark as well. That was also very, very delicious. So I really appreciate them sending that to us. So because it's freezing outside and I also had mushrooms to use up, I decided to make some soup. These are the noodles that I'm gonna be using in it. You can use whatever you have or no noodles at all or whatever pasta, but these are brown rice and millet. They're our favorite. You guys see them all the time. I use them in so many different things. I had carrots, I have a whole bunch of carrots, like a crazy amount of carrots, so I'm basically putting carrots in everything. They were on sale, so I bought them. And then I also have a whole pack of mushrooms that had to be used, and you know how I roll. I just look in the, you know, crisper in the fridge and decide on what I'm going to make according to what needs to be eaten first. So that's what I did. So it's gonna be mushroom, carrots, and then just some broth and my noodles. And that's pretty much it. Whatever other veggies you have, you can throw in if you wanted to but I just wanted to make something cozy and comforting since it's absolutely freezing outside. And yeah, that's pretty much what I decided to do. Very simple, very easy. While I was cooking, my son was making his Lego creations. He got quite a few sets for Christmas, so he was just doing this while I was cooking and cleaning up. 
Uh, we're having company tomorrow, but I'm working, so I'm deciding to clean early, and that way everything is done and ready for when they come. And yeah, he did such a great job, and all on his own. He's six years old, and he just follows the instructions and does everything on his own without any help. So I thought it looked really, really cute. I want to put a shelf up in his room just for his creations, because he has so many really, really nice ones. So I'm adding this bouillon in, I'm adding like a whole tablespoon or maybe not quite a whole tablespoon, but I am adding that for extra flavor. You could use the other little cubes if you have that, whatever you have, homemade, broth, even better, just to add a little bit of extra flavor. And then I have my oregano from the garden and you guys know I love my oregano. And then especially in the winter, I know I, I keep saying this, but oregano is really good in the winter. Mushrooms are really good to have in the winter and you want to keep incorporating things like that in your diet. Same thing with garlic um, in order to keep your immune system in tip top shape. So I'm not adding salt and pepper right now, but I will um, have it out just in case somebody wants to add it into their soup later. That's fine. They can do that. But yeah, I just have my little Santas, my salt and pepper Santas, so they can just add that in later. So I'm also adding smoky paprika. You guys know I love smoky paprika, so I'm going to be uh, using that. And then also I'm putting in a little bit of parsley that's dry. That's going in as well. So whatever herbs you prefer, you can throw them in because it adds a lot of extra flavor without having to add, you know, a whole bunch of salt and things like that into your soup. You can flavor it with a lot of different herbs. <music> Okay guys, so I have my mushroom and carrot soup going. If I had other veggies, I would throw that in too because we just don't want to waste any veggies. But all I have is like some frozen veg and this seems fine to me. I put some broth, I have some filtered water in there and then I'm gonna put those noodles. So it's brown rice and millet noodles. Um, yeah, so that'll be tasty, nice, yummy, cozy soup because it's super, super cold outside. Uh, the weather is freezing. Um, we didn't get a lot of snow. In Toronto anyway so for Christmas dinner we had to drive quite a bit out of the city and they had so much snow and apparently like people like were stuck and they had to close roads that's out of my comfort zone Toronto girl I can't even imagine living over there even though the houses are cheaper I will live in my tiny house in the city thank you very much um, but yeah so we don't have that much snow here, but it is bloody cold. It is so, so freezing that like 
he just can't stand to be out there and that's the thing with Ontario um, it's just unbearably cold and we might not get as much snow as some of the other provinces but whoa it's super super cold here so yeah uh, that's where we're at today nice cozy soup and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do if we're gonna head out it's boxing day so usually people go shopping like I don't need anything I don't know if the kids want to hit any stores up but not really into shopping today but we'll see how the day goes the good times have ended my Christmas holidays have finished I had you know a nice uh, six days off which is fantastic that is like more days than I've had off since I've been like away out of the country so that is amazing that was really really nice and then I work all New Year's so I'd rather have Christmas off than New Year's and only do anything for New Year's so it works out but yeah, I'm gonna just make my soup. I'm still in my jammies, all cozy, and get on with it. So you see me cooking a lot with mushrooms, especially in the winter. I'm constantly putting mushrooms in things. They're great for our immunity, and because it's so cold and our winters are so long, anything that helps is worth trying. So I use a lot of mushrooms, and definitely the soup is gonna be really tasty because they give such wonderful flavor to things. So if you love mushrooms, try adding them in things like soup or any dishes really in that way it's going to help with your immune health and it's going to add a lot of yummy flavor. So in a past video for Vlogmas I did make my elderberry syrup so I'm just taking some of that uh, just because my nose is slightly runny today I don't know why but I want to nip this in the bud like now the elderberry syrup should do it so I had a little bit of that I just had a tablespoon of that and yeah should be good. Okay, so the broth is getting a nice brown color. It's getting nice and flavorful, and it's not just because of the bouillon, but because those mushrooms are infusing the broth, that's what's making it turn nice and golden brown and delicious. So while my soup cooked with the lid on for about 15 to 20 minutes, I had it on a low setting as well because that pot is really hot. I just snuggled with Jupiter on the couch, just chilled out for a little bit and relaxed, got nice and cozy, still in my PJs as you can see. But yeah, Jupiter is super, super cute. He is a Scottish straight and he's part of the Fold family. So like um, if you watch Shrek, uh, the cat that's in it, well, that's pretty much the Fold family. They have like the big heads, the little ears. Uh, super, super cute little kitties. Um, but he's a Scottish straight, so, and he's just a year old. He's super cute and affectionate. And yeah, we just relaxed a little bit. Okay, so the noodles are just going to cook up. The soup has been cooking for quite a few minutes. I would say like 15 minutes with the lid on. And yeah, just had some snuggles with my kitty while they were cooking up. And then now those noodles are going to take no time at all once this water gets a little bit hotter. I just turned up the heat a little bit because I had the lid closed and this is a really, really heavy cast iron pot. I put it on low, the lowest setting it can go because it gets like turbo hot. I don't want my veggies to overcook. So now I'm just gonna leave it open, let the noodles do its thing, and then I can enjoy my yummy soup. So yeah, that is the plan. Okay, so it's all done. It smells amazing in the house. This is such a quick and easy soup that anybody can make with whatever you have on hand. It's a great way of using up veggies. You guys know how I roll. I don't like to waste anything. So it'll always become something in some sort of a meal. Um, that way I can reduce my food waste. And we do really, really well with food waste. We barely ever throw any veggies out. I tend to use a lot of that stuff in soups. Um, and if we do throw things out, it's because I've been working and really like, if I'm not here to cook it, it's not gonna get done. So yeah, I try to always use up that stuff on my days off. That way we don't have any food waste. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Soup is done. And then again, because anytime you have a cast iron or if you have a 
ceramic coating like this one has you have to really be careful about metal things so if I'm using a spoon to put my broth in I'm just allowing the water to take the broth off the spoon and it's at the top I'm never touching the actual pot because it will scratch it and damage it and then as far as like ladles go you're always going to want a plastic or silicone um, you know ladle because you need to be careful you will ruin your pots and these are really expensive so I find that this pasta little scoop this pasta scoop is great for the noodles for the soup because then you can grab everything with this and then you can just get the broth with your silicone or plastic ladle and that way you don't damage your pot so i didn't add any salt or pepper but i did show it to you little santas and that way whoever wants some can put some in their bowl um, i'm probably going to put a little bit of salt or another option is soy sauce just a little bit of that it's going to give the saltiness and a little bit extra flavor to your soup so in the evening i decided just to take a nice quick little bath just to relax further and i have my lavender bath salts it's like lavender with the salt and it's mixed in this was a gift from the girls um, i think it was like last year and then i got this soap as a gift as well and i haven't opened it yet and it's also lavender and homemade so i decided to start using that so it was a really luxurious relaxing bath and yeah of course jupiter was with me just checking things out but that's what I did on a Boxing Day cozy evening. Okay guys, Happy New Year. Take care and I will see you in 2023 for more healthy and quick and easy recipes and other health videos.